Well, hello everyone. Uh, I'm working on my A670 uh, caravan transmission. It's a three-speed with a lockup, and I'm going to be popping the valve body off, and I'll give you guys a, a quick look on how that is done. Uh, for video purposes, I could have done this while the uh, transmission was in the car, but I had to pull it out anyway. <clears throat> I've got to fix a couple things in it. I've rebuilt it earlier, but uh, the reverse in it started uh, slipping, and it turned out I had a bad uh, seal so I had to replace the seal but for now I'm going to show you how to take this valve body off now if you're taking it off while it's in the car first thing you got to do is go up here and you got to unhook your linkage and so forth and you got a couple pieces on top there these are little 10 millimeter bolts if you unscrew this bolt there and this over this uh, uh, kick down um, gear a bracket uh, there's a 10 millimeter right there you loosen those up and these will pop off and of course you got to take off your uh, linkage which is right there and it's pretty straightforward then you got to unhook your uh, transmission lines a little uh, hoses and also you got an overdrive plug which is uh, hiding down in there somewhere uh, but uh, you've got to take it off and I'll give you a look over here where it uh, plugs in at um, it actually plugs through the hole right here that uh, it plugs in right there that little blue thing here you unplug that and Basically, uh, once you get that uh, unplugged, you can go ahead and uh, unscrew your uh, um, safety neutral uh, plug. But, uh, like I said, for video purposes, I've already gone ahead and taken off the uh, pan, drained the oil out of it, and so forth. And it's actually sitting right there. I've got all the uh, <clears throat> oil in my little jugs and everything, so it's uh, pretty much off. And these are just little 10, mil 10 millimeter bolts that hold that on, and they are actually uh, sitting right there. They're not uh, very big bolts. So once you get those off, and you can uh, basically get into the excess of the uh, bottom of the transmission, uh, the first thing you want to do is go over here and uh, let's see, my light set up here real quick is go ahead and take off the filter now these are little star sockets I believe these are uh, I'll have to go over here and look real quick I'm back actually it's a little T25 uh, uh, star sockets that's what you need to take this uh, um, filter off and uh, we'll go ahead and pop this off since I've already had loosened up the bolts uh, a little bit of a gasket for the filter take that off and put that off the side now the next thing we want to do Uh, this parking uh, cow here, you want to take it off. Uh, there is a little tiny, um, let's see if I can get that off there, little tiny C clamp. You want to take that off. And um, most of the time, you can just push up on it and it'll come right out. All right. Okay, I'm going to put that off to the side. Now, for video purposes, I've already loosened up all these bolts. The only bolts you got to take out are actually around the outside of this um, uh, valve, uh, the valve body. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven little eight millimeter bolts. Oh, uh, let's make let's verify this real quick. Um, actually, these are little ten millimeter sockets. Uh, so. This is what we use on that. Take that off. And once you get all the bolts on the outside of this off, off then this unit is ready to come off. So now all I have to do is, uh, they say it's better to go ahead and switch this down into neutral. And I've got it in the neutral. And we just pull basically straight up on it. Like this. And it should come right out. And there it is. Now on this particular model, I'm having a problem right there with my safety neutral switch. See how it's riding really low there? It's getting hung up and I can feel it when I go from neutral to drive and back into park. It's getting caught there and I think what's happening is uh, it's wore out. So I'm going to have to check in maybe replacing this piece there. All right, now I'm going to set this off to the side. And basically you're inside the transmission. Now, like I said, for video purposes, I've already been working on this. I've got everything out on the inside. I had to replace, replace my reverse fan there, and also I had to replace a uh, uh, gasket on this uh, 
reverse band solenoid right there. And also I've replaced the um, Uh, this guy here, uh, I'll have to go back and look at it later. And uh, that's basically all you got to do uh, to get in here. And like I said, I did uh, some work on this earlier. I'm going to finish this up tonight. Um, I will probably make another video on how to put this uh, trans, how to tear it apart and, and put it back together. It's very easy uh, transmission to work. So you got to work around this uh, stupid kick down cable. I just basically unhooked it from the transmission and. Move the cable there and flipped it up, and that's and that's about it. And you can get into your uh, valve body, take it off, and work on it, and so forth. So uh, that's it for this session of video. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. But uh, other than that, uh, that's the end of the video. And uh, thanks for watching. And um, I'll try to uh, put another video up later on putting this transmission back together for anybody that's got the three-speed with the overdrive. And these go into neons and caravans all the way up to the probably uh, 2004 or 2005. All right. Uh, Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.